can make them sweet, you can make them floral, you can make them seedy. And um, endless, really. And the flavor ingredients might be I have butyric acid artificial, and then I have butyric acid natural. All flavors are combinations of chemicals. Artificial flavors are largely man-made. Natural flavors come from nature, but not necessarily from what the label implies. For example, strawberry creations. Strawberry and vanilla flavor can come from the leg and a beaver's backside. So what we do is just uh, manipulate them and create with them and give the impression of, you know, papaya or orange strawberry. Hankin is an illusion. To give whiskey a little bit more depth sometimes, a young whiskey. Oh, the taste of the barrel is just supposed to be <laughs> correct. Yes, yeah, you can add some cast notes, some oak notes. Castle and Hagen let us in on the alchemy of inventing a new flavor. This one is inspired by a Hong Kong kumquat that is found not in Hong Kong, but back in Riverside. It's a process using hundreds of different notes until they've created a <laughs> symphony of taste. I mean, with a name like Hong Kong kumquat, you really have to have something going on, I think. I'm curious to see the carrot on top of the <laughs> That is interesting. That is very interesting. You get the citrus, but you have the, the carrot poking his head up. Yeah, it's very good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really exciting. This is a home run. There is no shortage of metaphors in the flavoring business. Jigadon goes to the end of the earth, scouting new flavors. In Hong Kong, Jigadon could be their annual conference.